Shalom my dear students, welcome to First Baptist Church Children's School's online program. This week we will continue to explore on how to walk in Christ, to understand that He is always love us and give us the way to survive in any situation. Let us praise the Lord together. Got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where down in my heart? Where down in my heart? I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where down in my heart to say, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the in my heart, where? down in the depths of my heart, where? down in the depths of my heart, I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart, where? down in the depths of my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, down in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. every day. Now, let us pray to begin today's lesson. Lord, teach us what it means to walk in love and give us the desire and strength to act on our love for you and others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, children, today we will learn about love God, love others, and love ourselves. We can't truly love others if we don't first love God with all of our being and we must act on our love in obedience to His Word. Now take your Bible and open the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 25 to 37. You may read together with your siblings and your parents. Once, while Jesus was preaching, a man decided to test how good a teacher Jesus was. Jesus, I have a question for you. Can you tell me what it is I should do so that I can live eternally in heaven? Jesus looked at him with a quiet smile for some time and then replied, Do you read the Bible? Of course I do. What kind of a question is that? So if you read the Bible, can you tell me what the Bible says? The Bible says that I should love God with my heart and soul, and that I should love my neighbor as I love myself. Well then, there you have your answer. 
What I don't understand is who my neighbor is supposed to be, whom I should love as I love myself. Jesus was quiet for a few moments, and then replied, The answer to that question is not so simple. Let me explain it to you in a different way. And this is the story Jesus related to the man for the answer he was seeking. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. There were many small hills around the road he was walking, with many rocks lying there. It was a lovely sunny day, and the man was softly singing to himself as he walked along. Suddenly, as he was passing a small hill, some men came running out from behind the hill and charged at him. They took away everything that the man had, even tearing away his clothes. The evil robbers beat up the poor man mercilessly. He was bleeding badly, but they just kicked him even more and left him by the roadside. Soon after, a priest came walking down the road. When he saw the bleeding man, he thought to himself, I wonder who that fellow lying there is. I don't know what has happened to him, but I am already very late. I do not have the time to stop and help him. I'm sure someone else will come and do something. He looks dead to me already, anyway. The priest just crossed the road and continued walking without a backward glance. A little while later, a Levite, a man whose job was to help priests in their work, happened to pass down the same road. He too saw the beaten and bleeding man lying there. He stopped for a moment and slowly made his way up to the man. I cannot make out if this fellow is dead or alive. Even if he is alive, I doubt he will be alive for long, the way he is bleeding. I don't think I can help him in any way. I'd better be going along on my way. The Levite too left the injured man without even trying to help him and walked away hurriedly. After about an hour or two later, a Samaritan was walking down the same road with his donkey. As soon as he saw the man lying on the road, he ran up to him. Now the Jews were known to dislike the Samaritans and treat them very badly. However, this Samaritan did not even stop to think of all this. He just saw a bruised human being needing help very badly, and because of his compassionate nature, went forward to try and do what he could. Oh, what has happened? Who has done this to you? The man opened his eyes and tried to talk, but winced in pain when he tried to do it. You poor man, I can see you are in a lot of pain. Don't try and talk now. Here, let me have a look at your wounds. Hmm, they look quite bad. Don't you worry now, I will try my best to see that you are comfortable and get well soon. The Samaritan went to his donkey and came back with a bag containing some oils and wine. He then proceeded to apply them on the man's wounds so that they would heal. When the man saw what the Samaritan was doing, he made a feeble attempt to stop him. No, no, too expensive. Why are you looking at the cost of some oil and wine, my good fellow? At this moment it is your injuries that matter, not money. Now just relax and let me apply these to your wounds. I'm sure they will give you some relief. The good Samaritan very carefully applied the oil and wine to the injured man's wounds and put on some bandages also to prevent them from getting infected. Ah, now that that is done, let us get you to some inn where you can rest and recover. Very gently, the Samaritan helped the man up onto his donkey and started leading him to the inn. 
After walking for a few hours, they reached a small town where the Samaritan asked for directions to the nearest inn. There, we have arrived. Now just wait here for a few minutes while I talk to the man in charge about getting a room for you. No money. I have told you not to worry about that. I just want you to get well soon. The Samaritan went inside the inn and found the man who is in charge. My good man, I have outside a man who is badly injured. I would be grateful if you could give him a comfortable room where he can recover. Here, I am leaving with you some money for his room, as well as his food. Please, take good care of him, and let him live here till he is recovered enough to go on his way. The inn owner assured him that the man would be taken care of. The Samaritan then went outside, helped the man down from the donkey, and accompanied him to the room in the inn. Well, my friend, it is time for me to leave. I have taken care of everything. You just rest and get well. Don't know how to thank you. You don't have to thank me. I have just done what the good Lord would have wanted me to do. When the story ended, Jesus looked at the man who had questioned him. Now, can you tell me who you think would be your neighbor? The priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? The Samaritan, of course. He was the only one who showed compassion to someone who badly needed help. You are right. The priest is the one who serves God, but he was indifferent to the plight of the man's pain. Yes, even the Levite who works in the house of the Lord did not help. It was only the Samaritan who came to the man's help, and he was helping a Jew, even though he knew that the Jews do not like Samaritans. Yes, Jesus, I understand now who we should consider our neighbors, who God wants us to love as we love ourselves. So, if you want to go to heaven and live there eternally, love the Lord with your whole being and love your neighbors too. So children, keep in your mind always that walking in love requires selfless and sacrificial love that is freely given to God and others. We show God we love Him by loving others and He will reward us for our obedience. Don't forget your Bible memory. Okay children, it's time for Bible craft. Now we are going to make footsteps in love. There are three kinds of love. Godly love, which contains perfect, just, eternal, and undeserved. And neighborly love, which contains humble, helpful, sacrificial, and intentional. And family love, contains protective, dedicated, sacrificial, and affectionate. You can draw your feet on a paper. And you can choose any action above to be active. Okay, children, it's time to end our Sunday school program. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, continue reminding us to walk in wisdom, truth, and love. We know you remember our obedience, and we give you all the praise for the good things you are doing in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday, all. Thank you.